Hello everyone. Today I'm back with another interesting video that explains rollover relief for depreciating assets. I also recommend watching my other videos on capital gains tax, business asset disposal relief and rollover relief uploaded already on YouTube as they provide valuable context and link to this topic. What is rollover relief for depreciating assets? For capital gains tax purposes, a depreciating asset is similar to a wasting asset, which is an asset with a useful life of no more than 50 years. A depreciating asset can either be a wasting asset or one that will become a wasting asset within the next 10 years, meaning its useful life should not exceed 60 years. Common types of depreciating assets. The most common depreciating assets eligible for rollover relief include leases of 60 years or less and fixed plant and machinery. It is important to note that if a fixed plant or machinery becomes part of a building like a lift or escalator, the expenses related to that fixed plant are treated as expenditure on the building itself. Thus, it will not be classified as expenditure on a depreciating asset. General Rollover Relief Overview In the UK, rollover relief allows a trader to defer gains on an old asset if they reinvest the proceeds into a replacement asset for business use. Essentially, the gain is deferred until the replacement asset is disposed of in the future. However, for depreciating assets, relief is granted by freezing the gain on the old asset for a certain period. This frozen gain crystallizes upon the earliest of three events. If the depreciating asset is sold by the trader, if the trader stops using the plant and machinery in their trade, or if neither occurs, the frozen gain will crystallize no later than 10 years after acquiring the depreciating asset. Also remember that if a gain is frozen on a depreciating asset and before it crystallizes, the trader purchases a non-depreciating asset with a useful life of more than 60 years, like land or buildings, the frozen gain can be rolled over and set against the base cost of the new non-depreciating asset. Key points to remember. The depreciating assets rule applies only to assets with a useful life of not more than 60 years. If a trader sells a machine and reinvests the proceeds into a non-depreciating asset, the normal rollover relief rules will apply. For example, if a trader gains from selling a machine and reinvests within three years into a shop, the gain on the machine will be rolled over, reducing the shop's base cost. If a trader reinvests in a depreciating asset and has a frozen gain and then passes away before crystallization, the gain is not charged at death. It is instead cancelled because the death does not trigger capital gains tax. In the following slides, I've included illustrations that will help clarify these points further. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this information helpful.